New New York City was up the creek, without a paddle. It found itself knee-deep in rats. The city fathers tried to claw their way out by unleashing some enormous alley cats, but the rodents continued to outbreed and outsmart them. So, the officials brought in help to try and even the score. Hundreds of additional kitties were brought in to send those rats packing for good. After a few weeks of furious feline rodent frenzy, the cats came out on top, declaring a decisive victory. But their triumph was short-lived. The city soon faced a fresh foe, hordes of feral felines yelling through the streets, hoping to tame this tabby takeover. NYC's best and brightest decided to fight fur with fur, unleashing packs of dogs to chase away the cats. The plan worked like a charm, as hounds hounded harmless kitties out of town in no time. However, the city's top thinkers didn't think things through, as dogs dominoed into more dog dilemmas. With canines ruling the roost everywhere, New Yorkers had gone to the dogs. So, the city assembled a brain trust to put their heads together. After much deliberation, they hatched a high-tech scheme. Robo-dog catchers to round up all the real dogs. Five million dollars later, the droid and cyborg dogs were deployed, and gradually got the stray situation under control. Every dog had its day, and were swiftly adopted out. A big shout-out to Mayor Adams for that. But in the power vacuum left behind, the squirrels seized their opportunity. Their numbers grew exponentially, infesting the city in record numbers. Out of ideas, the city turned to a management consultant, who suggested a simple solution, pay people to catch squirrels. The city enlisted its homeless population, providing them nets and paying them five bucks per bushy-tailed critter. Over 12,500 eager participants flooded the streets, and within one week, the squirrel scourge was history. An added bonus, the program helped slash homelessness, as squirrel bounty hunters raked in upwards of $40,000 each, enough to get back on their feet. The homeless shelters emptied out. Just when it looked like NYC's Animal Kingdom woes were finally solved, an unforeseen problem emerged. Florida and Texas began busing undocumented immigrants up north in droves, overwhelming the sanctuary city and straining an already decimated budget. Shelters overflowed, only this time with impecunious migrants leaving, many out on the streets, as taxpayers were footing the bill for housing, feeding, schooling and providing medical care, patients wore thin. Many taxpayers were overheard saying things like, bring back the rats and expel the migrants. Rats feed themselves, don't need clothes, don't go to school, don't use doctors and they live outside year-round. How will New York tap dance its way out of this latest jam? Stay tuned as officials scramble to address the new challenges on the horizon, while taxpayers wait nervously in the wings.